Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors, and we're very happy to be showing you a brand new quad in the racing drone category. This is the Rise. The RXD 250. The RXD stands for Rise Extreme Durability, and the 250 stands for the size of quad that this is. It's 250 millimeters from prop shaft to prop shaft diagonally. Now this is a kind of ready to fly drone. You need a receiver, a battery, and a transmitter. It's kind of receiver ready, really. It's $200 on towerhobbies.com and every time we check, it looks like it's on back order because this is an extremely popular part of the hobby that's growing very rapidly. We are riding that roller coaster too yes. and we are just starting to go up that hill of the coaster ourselves. We're learning so we still fly in stability mode. And Nate didn't mention, you also need your uh, FPV cam, sure. FPV goggle yes. setup, and if, if you, you want to film, you need a separate camera for that. Yeah, too. that's all if you want to do the camera work. And Just stuff. in case you're wondering. That's right. Uh, now a few stats I'll throw out at you because the, the drone racing world is full of stats. You're going to fly on a pre-programmed CC3D flight controller that is only to be used on the rise. It's not really meant to be used for other quads. You're going to fly on four 10 amp ESCs, which seems to do an, an amazing job. <laughs> and the this motors. This thing is full of power. Full of power, 2280 kV brushless motors times four. There's four <laughs> of them. The body of the quad. Abby, you need to talk about this, how durable it is. It is durable. <laughs> I have wrecked this and almost killed a couple people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am ashamed, I swear. It uh, says it's... And the only thing oh, yeah. that has happened is a slight little nick in the foam. And that's it. Nothing expensive mm. has broken. Oh, and some grass stains, of course. Grass stains. It's white. <laughs> it's made out of foam, but it's an extremely oh dense and durable foam. Not... It's crazy. You're going to break my camera off there. Uh, <laughs> It is Nuts. reinforced with carbon fiber and it's just tough. Your battery mounts on the bottom. It's got these sleds to protect it, which are very, very bouncy oh, when yeah. you land. You see? So if you come down pretty hard, you're going to scratch the table, but save the drone. Yeah. It does come with three pre-programmed flight modes. You've got stability mode, which we've both flown in and it flies. You can almost go vertical with it and zip it through the air. Abby's getting much better at zipping quickly. Scary, but fun. <laughs> right. And, uh, whoop. Oh no, our backpack. Goes our backpack. You get a ratitude mode, and I'm excited to fly in this. Ratitude. ratitude. <laughs> it's ratitude. Uh, basically, the way that works is you've got your sticks. When they're <laughs> centered, it will uh, catch itself, right? So if you're like mid flip or something, you just let go of the stick, or the right stick, and it'll catch itself. Uh, but if you go past that, you can do your flips and things. I'm excited to try that. And then your third mode is like 3D mode or advanced flight mode. So you have complete, total control over the quad. And with that's why I said you'll see this copter a lot. We have a lot, there's of still the, a lot of features a learning curve to left. go around this hobby. Exactly. And FPV. We haven't even yes. done that yet. But uh, we wanted to talk about just the quad itself and what it's advertised as being as a very durable quad. And it truly is. Mm -hmm. Abby's probably the best person in the world to test durability on things and she was rough on it the first few flights but she's already getting a lot better not even touching down. We got to fields to fly. You yeah know, I can fly the whole battery now without crashing. Yeah. <laughs> The whole point of why we got this really was to get Abby in the air. Yeah. There's definite learning curve, but if you're wanting to get into the FPV drone racing type of category, this is a great start because it's going to be durable and it's going to last. Yeah. On the bottom of the quad, there is a battery connector that sticks out here. Oh, Just yeah, the that's two really little, cool. I like that a lot. It is a star plug, which is also compatible with Dean's. Mm -hmm. So I'm a huge fan of Dean's and now a huge fan of the star plug connectors. You guys should check those out if you're not um, fans of that type right. of battery connector because that's what this is set up to fly yeah. on. It would be kind of hard to switch that, but if you needed to, you could plug in a star female and then 
have a short wire coming off that and whatever your favorite connector is, you could easily convert. So right. it's not a huge headache to do that. Yes. It'd be pretty easy. And on the bottom, there are LED light bars. Yeah. There's, I think, installed. what is it? Blue in the front yep. and red in the back. They're nice and orientation really, really easy. But something that helped me tremendously with the orientation was the good old tactic drone view camera we mm -hmm. have on the front. Yep. I could always see the little camera lens whenever I was tipping around. And that's what I use for orientation. That's it cool. helped a lot. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, we use this to record our flights on our quads. We don't even use it for the Wi-Fi features. We're, we're using it in place of an 808 keychain cam or uh, or what it's keychain cam. What are they? Action cam, Mobius action cam. Who knows? That kind of thing. Uh, or a GoPro because GoPros are expensive. So and that this would be been, heavy on that. It would be heavy, but they can they can do it. It's set up for FPV2. We just don't have ours in there. It's got a tilted camera plate behind the front of the quad so that when you're flying forward, you can easily see where you're going. And it has wiring on the back to plug in your... Um, FPV receiver mm -hmm. and... For your goggles. Right, yes. And then there's a little hole drilled at the top to put your uh, Clover antenna or whatever kind of antenna you're flying yeah. with. So it's all ready to go, we just don't have ours there yet because that is where our limit has hit. We're gonna continue to push ourselves and we're gonna use this quad a to lot. do that. Both of us. Yeah. I'm I'd like to get one for myself get, as well. I'm excited just to get better from because from day one to day two to day three, I can already see a difference. Yeah, yeah, I can already feel myself getting better, getting more comfortable. It's exciting. The two Velcro straps on the bottom come with it. I mean, it really is everything you see here except for that camera and our receiver comes with this guy. It comes with spare props and the four props, and it is flying on five inch props. I think they're 50 30s. Um, and I don't believe you'd want to push anything much bigger on that. I don't know that it's for sale ready, but this is a learning yeah. quad. And guys, check this out. We got our backpack yeah. with it. This thing is so cool. I feel like Casey Neistat. All we gotta do is just snap it to the outside. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a backpack with it because there's just some small stuff you bring with the hobby too. And, and there you go. And it's, it's just exposed like Casey Neistat. And it just it just is there and it's, it's a fun. pretty cool <laughs> backpack to hold that on the outside but there's enough room on the inside you could fit one even with the props on if you take out the dividers but we can fit in two full-size transmitters i think a third one would fit all of our batteries fit in these little side pouches which is really really nice what i've been doing because i've got like 10 batteries i bring I with me it. i put them all in one side charged and then when they're when the charge is gone i put them in the other side so I it keeps them organized up for you. i don't care i'll charge them all again <laughs> If you take the props off, the Zero Explorer and yes. the transmitter will fit in this Crazy. too. So it is, it's truly universal just because you can customize it and take all this out and do whatever you want yeah. with it. It's just really cool. Super cool. But we'll have a link for you in the description yeah. box so you can check it out yourself. But there's a lot to talk about with this upcoming just awesome there's you know it's a craze that's hitting so fast and uh, a lot of people are interested in this part of the hobby it's if really you cool get one of these try to fly safe they are getting more and more powerful it's a hobby grade rc it's no longer a toy grade little 20 30 dollar thing that you bought this has some power to it it'll cut your finger if you hit it the wrong way so fly responsibly and uh, you'll have a lot of fun we love our rise. I think it's totally worth the money. Abby's got more flight time in than love I it. do, but when I'm flying it, I have a blast. It feels really good flying through the I air. honestly didn't think I could fly this, um, but the mode I'm flying on it now, which is stability, stability mode. mode. Oh, I got it. I got nice. this. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Easy to fly, fun to fly, fast, powerful. And durable. Mm. So before they're out of stock, which they probably already are, <laughs> Uh, click the link, check it out for yourself, and when you get yours, tell us what you think in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye.